evening or morning drinking out of this special mug today don't normally drink out of this mug I should say tonight, not today because this was a present from Patty and this video is all about her well, about her questions her questions and I'm fed you warned I have a headache bang, 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 right at the back of the head but I am wearing yellow as well, just to please you. Um, question number one. Oh, but, oh, sorry, before I get into this. Uh, yes, this is a the random questions thingy that uh, my good friend Patamus does uh, every, when, every now and then when she can be bothered. And they're always fun and random, thought-provoking. And have a, go and check her out, or check her channel out. Don't check her out, because I think she, she, she'll have you. Uh, check her channel out She is a wonderful young lady anyway, uh, but these questions pay Can you do a celebrity impression if so do it do it there's, a, there's one which is not nowhere near as good as yaks do it anyway um, uh, Okay, we got the uh, I can't remember his bloody name, but the character name was uh, Victor Meldrew from a from a comedy a sitcom we had over here called um, One Foot in the Grave, and his catchphrase was, "I don't believe it," yeah, and that's that's about it really. I'm not very good at impressions, like really not anything else. What's he doing? It's forty bloody minutes stuck in his boat. Yeah, this is what he looks like. Um, yeah. That's about it. Is, is that a celebrity? He wasn't that. He was a. Yeah. What was his? Richard. Richard something his name is. I'll know that when I check the internet after filming this. Uh, question two. Do you talk to plants? Do they talk back? If so, what do they say? And if not, maybe you aren't listening. Why you no listen? That was a terrible burp. I only talk to one plant. And th that is the great motherfucking tree out my back garden which ruins my garden it makes it sucks everything out of the bloody I swear at it constantly on a daily basis I'm like some random geezer staring up and shouting at a tree sometimes because it just it can't, I can't know my grass can't grow I'll show you a picture this video is going to be full of that that by the way me clicking my fingers and subliminal messages appearing uh, because that's basically what I'm just too lazy to go out and about this time sorry uh, and well not too lazy I'm too busy lazy is not the right word busy and headache headache I'm gonna have um, I'm gonna have a mini kinder egg because these things are absolute gorge and it's nearly Easter so it's an excuse oh mmm nutty yeah that tree's a bastard and if it, I don't want him to speak to me if he spoke to me, I'd blank him. Because he's a bastard. He destroys my grass. Breaks up my light. Drop shit all the time. It's a... See, I'm going down into a rant now. It's, it's one of those trees. I think it's a, 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 a beech tree. It's just dropping shit all the time. It's dropping... If it's not dropping blossom, it's dropping twigs. And it's, then it's dropping blossom, and then it's dropping leaves, and then it's dropping seed pods, and the fucking seeds. And every... I hate it. I hate that fucking tree. That was a really sweary rant there. Okay. If you can choose... Oh, if some, on a lighter note here. If you can choose a manner in which to die. Not old age and no, no immortality. You cheating bastard. What would it be? Not painful. I'm not a, I'm not a person for pain. I definitely don't uh, want to go out painful. Um, so I'd have to be, I don't know, morphined up, like paralysed or something, so I couldn't feel anything. And then I shot into the sun. Shot into the sun, slowly. But I couldn't feel the pain, but I'd experience everything else. 
and they're being absorbed by the sun. A bit like that term seen out of sunshine. As ridiculous as that is. To film sunshine. That'd be quite cool. Do you have a song that can completely turn your mood around? At least while the song is playing. And if so, what it is. Have I got like three could narrow this down to three apparently? It depends what it is, it really does. Um there's a song by Orbital. See, I told you I'd do that. Called Belfast. And it's off their first album. And it was a, it was a track that uh, many, many moons ago, me and a group of friends went on holiday. And uh, we, we'd had a few drinks. And we were lying next to this beach in Cornwall. And we stared up at the night sky. And I had my car my car boot open we were playing Orbital from that and Belfast came on and my mate said to me look up at the stars and burn this into your mind and, and that stuck with me and that song just calms me down. every time I hear it it just calms me down it relaxes me it makes me it mellows me out it changes my mood it really does um, but for the sort of like to get a goosebumpy kind of feel a happy sort of elated feel it would be the track um, and I will kiss by underworld and um, this was the track that they opened the 2012 Olympic Games with and what a fantastic piece of music it is it's just the, the drumming the, the pounding beat and the building up to the crescendo it's just a it's like a it's got hardly it's got no words barely but it's like an emotional roller coaster it's amazing. And every time I listen to it, it gives me goosebumps and just makes me feel happy with things. I don't know why it does that. It just reminds me of the positive things in life, the positive things I have in life. So probably that one. It's a fantastic piece of music. All right, to question five. If you could learn any real, ancient or fictitious language and speak it fluently, what would it be and why? What would you? It'd be Latin. Because I, I when I when I was at school, I t I had a choice of lat uh, I had a choice of languages to take. I mean, German, French, or Latin. And for some reason, I chose Latin. I wish I'd have chose German now, because I know more German now than I do in the other language, apart from English, barely. So it would have been Latin because, and what I would do with it is I would know all the scientific bloody names for everything. And when I read the scientific names for like creatures, animals and plants and stuff like that, um, I always want a minerals and thing. I, I want to know how to pronounce it. I want to know what it bloody means. It's an ancient crappy... It, well, it's, not, it's not a crap language, is it? It's a fantastic language because everything is really derivative from Latin in a way. And there go, by knowing Latin, you could then sort of branch out into Esperanto or something like that. Like Rimmer, being Esperantists. Well, the Esperantinos, as you would say. Question six. You kidnap me and force you to join my circus. No! <laughs> These fuckers freak me out. And it was difficult to put that insert in there. It really was. Eyes are bleeding. Are you Are you a freak show? Natural, obviously. Um, magician? No, I'm not a magician. A clown? Fuck off, like I've already... Fuck off. Food vendor? Yeah, alright, I'll be that. Acrobat, etc. I'll probably be the guy that's farthest away from the clowns. Um, I'll be a mechanic, fixing the, um, the, the, the trucks and the stagecoach and the wagons and stuff. Oh fuck, but then I would have to fix the clown fucking car, wouldn't I? Um, what job would be like furthest away from the clowns? Uh, a ticket vendor. Doesn't have to. Go, I don't, wouldn't have to go to the big top. Yeah, so as long as I'm away from them fuckers. This has been a really sweary video, isn't it? Must be the headache. What skill? Question. Question seven. Seventh heaven. What skill did you always want to learn or have? I've never got around to it. Do you think you would learn it in the future? You see, I've all, 
almost done it. I've always wanted to be um, fluent in one specific uh, computer programming language, but I've never managed to get to that point. And I know bits of some, bits of another. And I'm close. I was at one point close to fluent in HTML, but never have got there. I've never been satisfied enough. Um, I, will I ever get around to it? I hope so one day. Um, I really do hope so. And that sounds a really boring one, that, but yeah, I'd just like to know that. And electronics is another thing as well. I've, again, it's not something I'm fluent on. It's something I can handle my, handle my own with. Handle my own with. <laughs> Hold my own with. That's even worse. Ugh. But you know what I mean. But I, love, but I like to be like fluent in it and know exactly what that shit means. Um, question eight. What's 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 a song? What? What's a song that you think sums your? Oh, right, okay. What song thinks you sums your country nationality up? Oh, look, this is the one I can choose three songs. Oops, I'm mixing two up. Entirely based about how you feel. All right, okay. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> I'm not going to pick some obvious rubbish like some punk track from the 70s or something like that. I mean, people would think that, wouldn't they? Can't be a national anthem. You see, Land of Hope and Glory isn't our national, isn't England's national anthem or um, the Britain's national anthem, but I, I think it should be. That really makes me feel uh, patriotic, that, that true. That, that, the ra ra Macho Man, Randy Savage's uh, entrance music is Land of Hope and Glory. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Don't believe it. I don't know. Going back to question one there. The Red Dwarf thing. <laughs> That's really... Because British sense of humour, isn't it? It's cold outside. no kind of atmosphere. I'm all alone in this room. Right. What living, currently not ex extinct animal do you identify with? Not an animal you would want to be, but one that was likely to be based on my personality. Flipping hell. Um, right, okay. So, a logical animal. Narrow this down. Logical. Average looking. So not a pretty animal. So cats and most cats are out of the, out of the, that then, um, and a lot of dogs. No horses. Average, average, sort of like average, you know. I'm, I'm pretty much average all the way. Uh, just logic, logic, I suppose. I suppose a little bit opinionated, forceful, maybe. Can can bite quickly. Can bite these bloody minions for the first time. I don't know. Be something like um. I'm gonna have to think about this. Sorry. Still thinking. <clears throat> A spider. Spider's probably closest when it comes to logic. Imagination, construction, maybe that kind of thing. <sighs> and I like spiders, but then I'm thinking of sort of like the devil, the devil of play, the uh, playfulness in me, and then I'm thinking more like a red squirrel, because a red squirrel is a little bit more less ang angry and a little bit more, a little bit more posed, a little bit more poised than a grey squirrel. So very a mutant squirrel spider kind of thing. Red squirrel. Red squirrel. Yeah, gonna go with red squirrel. Because they're nuts too. What live? Uh, no, I've done that one. <laughs> oh, ten. Question. Well, question ten already. Well, have I missed any out? No, I haven't. Okay, I thought I haven't thought I'd miss someone out there. Crazy Dick Wizard Man grants you the power to snap your fingers and create one mill. Every time you snap, this will be a mill for the rest of your life. What do you choose for that meal? Easy. My mother's um, Christmas dinner. 
because I wouldn't be able to make it. Uh, Mrs. can't make it. Her parents certainly can't. They can't even make edible food. Um, but yeah, if I could snap my fingers and then my, the Christmas dinner that my mother makes would appear. Because my mother's getting on a bit, so she will pass um, the next decade, which is a shame. Uh, it's, I don't want to speak about it, but, but you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, something like that would be ideal for a lot of reasons, a lot of personal reasons actually, not just because it's a great meal, because it would um, remind me of my mother and everything. As uh, you know, when that time came. So, oh, we're not serious there. So let's finish with uh, ridiculousness. Your questions for Foxtard from Oxtard. Okay, Fox Dodd. How do you feel about your your neighbours that share skin space with you? Are you jealous of them? Do you feel that uh, you're superior to them? Do you fear for your life because you are our owner has hinted that she may remove you? I would like to know your feelings on this. Yeah, anyway, I've still got a banging headache. And I hope all the uh, subliminal. Sim- liminal- hope all the subliminal. Sim- I hope all the subliminal pitches have been fun. Thank you very much, Patty. Uh, brilliant. Always fun. Hope you uh, found my answers. Pretty, whatever. Sorry. <laughs> I've really got an engaged brain at the moment. I'm really, really a bit lethargic at the moment. But anyway, enough about that. Link to Patty's channel is in the description box and her video about these questions. Go have a watch because she is such a funny person. Makes your day, makes you smile whenever you watch her. Guarantee you that. That's a never bug guarantee. And, um,. I will uh, finish with another another mini egg because if I have any more, this belly is just going to get bigger. So, happy Easter if you celebrate Easter. No bug out. <laughs>